Love is in the air. Wrong! Fly fish! These things are the devil of Salmon Run. Here's all the different ways to banish them to the Shadow Realm. Engaging solo, throw a bomb, wait, throw another bomb. Assuming you're not getting hit by other salmon, there should be just enough time to take it out by yourself, even if you're locked on. To buy myself some more time, sometimes I'll leap off of a ledge and try to dunk the second bomb in. You can move around while waiting, especially if the missiles are locked onto you, but you should have just enough time to throw the second bomb in before the missiles hit you. If there are two of you versus one fly fish, try to make it obvious which basket you're going for, or wait for the other person to throw their bomb first, then go for the other one. If you hold the bumper before you throw, you can see the trajectory of your bomb to ensure you make that three-pointer. That's right, this game is turning into basketball. If you see a teammate ahead of you already aiming for a fly fish, watch their back and try to demolish any little salmon around them so they have a cleaner shot. Explosher Glob I was surprised by how many people didn't already know this. A property unique to Explosher, the main weapon globs also take out the fly fish. If you get the Explosher, then congratulations, you've been promoted to anti-fly fish duty for that wave. Some specials can kill fly fish on their own, way more than I originally thought. In fact, it's literally every salmon run special except for Wave Breaker. Some of them only work when the buckets are are open and some of them work regardless of open or closed. Killer Whale 5.1 Killer Whale channels the power of Katy Perry to murder flyfish even if the baskets are closed. Killer Whale is one of the most unreliable specials in Salmon Run, so I just think of it as a free flyfish kill, especially in Wave 3. Triple Ink Strike A single Tide Pod toss can rain down bleach from the heavens and assassinate flyfish even while their buckets are closed. I learned this while making this video. You may even be in a situation where you can use a single special to choke and drown multiple Flyfish at once. Booyah bomb. Throw a booyah bomb to take out a flyfish. Easy kill. Easy blood. Crab glob. The crab tank has two firing modes. Rapid fire goosh with the right trigger and globby blobby with the right bumper. That second one, the bumper globs, can take out the baskets when they're open. Inkjet. The inkjet shots can also blast flyfish baskets while they're open. With good timing, good positioning, and good luck, you can obliterate multiple flyfish in one inkjet tour. Blow that piece of junk! OUT OF THE SKY! It's tempting not to use your special to take out a single enemy, especially in Wave 1 or Wave 2, but it's better to use the special to make it to Waves 2 and 3 in the first place, rather than saving your special and getting wiped in Wave 1 anyways, you know? More situational murder methods. Reef Slider can chomp down a flyfish if you're at even height with it and slam the brakes with good timing before zooming off a ledge. But it's hard to do and very situational. A cannon missile can take out one basket each during a Chango Buffet wave, as long as the basket is open, and as long as your cannon isn't blocked by other salmon bosses love this game here's a question why doesn't mr grizz give us the cannons during every low tide wave they're always there the grizz coast slosh can wash and quash a fly fish even if the basket is closed assuming it's in this game this is from splatoon 2 the grizz coast platana can slice them and dice them if you charge up a honda slash and aim for the cockpit in the middle as far as i know those are the only two grizz core weapons that could damage fly fish this might get updated in the future though so we'll see a salmon lid slam can technically squish a fly fish underneath it but but flyfish usually won't fly underneath it on their own, so don't count on it. And during a fish Godzilla fight when you're equipped with the egg launcher, an egg can take out a flyfish if aimed at the open buckets. It'll still take two eggs though, so maybe throw a bomb in one and a golden egg at the other for a quick kill. Oh yeah, and Drizzler rain torpedoes can technically terminate an open flyfish basket with perfect aiming and perfect timing, but that is such a hyper specific situation, I wouldn't even bother. I've seen some other glitchy and unreliable ways to finish flyfish on Twitter, but that's mostly it. Man, Flyfish are actually Satan. It's like fighting one of those demented reflux players who choose to do nothing but spam tenor missiles the whole match. Except, they're pretty much invincible 90% of the time, they're immune to damage from almost every main weapon, they hang out on the corners of the map away from the basket, they can attack you from anywhere on the map, they lock on at two players at once, they fire four missiles each at two players, their missiles have a huge hitbox, their missiles can even one-shot you, and they take over a full ink tank to beat. One basket attacks the closest player, and the other attacks a random player. Look at this, that's so many abilities, they're pretty much cheating at Splatoon 3. How did you even build that? 
Where is your fuel source? If they're locked onto you, don't swim up walls. That's an easy way to get one-shotted. It's tempting to ignore flyfish, especially if you're not the one being locked onto, but these flying cracks are high-priority targets, along with the tower of Patsampans and the launchy sexy big bumbos. In high-level salmon run, and I mean like high, like beyond hazard level max salmon run, there is the strategy of only taking out one basket, specifically the blue basket on the left side if you're facing it, and leaving the flyfish half alive. Only four of the same boss salmon can exist on the map simultaneously, so this can leave four flyfish half alive rather than completely taking out one, and then a second full power one immediately spawns right in. The number of times I've said, All right, we took one out. And there's another one. But again, the half kill strategy is for like Dubai skyscraper high levels of salmon run. For the rest of us, crashing and smashing flyfish should be a top priority. That's it, that's the whole video. Comment below with other ways to take out flyfish. If there are any that I missed, I have no idea how to play this song. Happy hunting.